If you have a hard time bouncing back from a day of eating this type of food, this video is perfect for you. Hey guys, what's going on? Shane at Shane Hubbard Fit. Thanks a ton for tuning in to today's video. If you are new to my channel, before you go today, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so that every single Wednesday you get a new video coming right to you. And if you're a returning subscriber, thanks a ton for your support and feedback. I got another great video for you today. Okay guys, so today's topic is all about what to do the day after a big cheat day. What are you supposed to do to recover from all of that? How do you get back into the, the flow of things? You probably woke up the next morning, you're a little tired, a little lethargic, your brain fog is back, and you wanna get back into the swing of things, get back on your plan, and get back to hitting it hard in the gym and staying on your nutrition. So if you're ready to get after it and to learn how to bounce back after a bad cheat day, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and we'll get right after it. All right guys, so the very first thing I want you to realize, and this is tip number one, I want you to realize that you need to throw away the shame, throw away the guilt, throw away any negative feeling you got from that cheat day or that cheat meal or whatever it is that you ate the day before and realize that you can make up for it, all right? When you get knocked down, when life knocks you down, the only thing you can do is get up and try again. Stop shaming yourself and doing two hours of cardio because you ate too much the day before or not eating at all the next day because you deserve it because you ate too much the day before. These patterns of behavior are only going to push you in a more negative direction and are not ever going to actually solve the real problem. So take the shame out of it, take the guilt out of it. Just realize that, yeah, you made a mistake, it's no big deal. We can get right back into it, get back on the plan and get after losing fat again. All right, and that brings me to tip number two. Get back on the plan that you originally had before you had your cheat meal, all right? So if you were on a plan to eat a very specific way or to practice some good, healthy eating behaviors and habits, then just get back into that. If it's get back into an exercise routine that you had before, get back into that. Realize that having a plan after you have these, you know, these cheat days is the most important part because it anchors you back to what is most important, which is a calorie deficit and building behaviors that are healthy and sustainable so that once you lose the weight, you can actually keep it off, which again, is one of the hardest parts about losing weight. So if you're having trouble, simply just get back on your plan. And if you don't have a plan, I would highly advise that you start to organize things so that you have something you can always fall back on. A plan re-anchors you and structures you into what is going to work best for fat loss, which is why it's so dang important. All right, tip number three is realizing that you're not actually fatter the day after, you're just bloated. All right. So a lot of times when we overeat or we eat, you know, junk foods and we kind of have this cheat meal or this cheat day, we're typically eating foods that have a lot of sodium, a lot of carbohydrates, and those two things will make you store more water on your body. So let's say that you weighed yourself the day before you ate anything on your cheat day and you weighed 170 pounds. And then the day after you weighed yourself and you're 175 pounds. I don't know why you'd weigh yourself. You're just setting yourself up for disappointment. But let's say you weigh yourself and you're five pounds heavier. And unless you really know what goes into those five pounds, you're probably freaking out because you're like, oh my gosh, I'm five pounds fatter. I erased all the hard work I did for the last three you know, weeks or three months or whatever. And that's just not simply not true. You might feel fatter, you might even look a little bit fatter, but really what's going on is you're storing more water because of the sodium, you're storing more water because of the carbohydrates you consumed, plus you just ate a bunch of food and it's still in your digestive system and that weighs a certain amount. So it's not fat that you've gained overnight, it's, it's simply just water as a result of sodium and some carbohydrates. All right, tip number four is get some form of exercise the day after, whether that's going for a walk or getting a gym session in, lifting weights, doing something, but you have to approach it in a positive mindset, okay? Again, I don't want you going into the gym and punishing yourself with two hours of cardio because you feel like you need to make up for all the calories that you ate the day before. Again, that is going to just continue the, the, the cycle of negativity towards this type of behavior. And if we keep feeding this type of behavior, it's gonna be really hard to get over. So what you wanna do is come into it with a different mindset. I'm going to get a workout in that's gonna work good for me, it's gonna get me back into my routine, it's not a form of punishment. You're not focusing on how many calories you burn or anything like that, it's simply just to get the ball rolling, to get back that momentum and to empower yourself to really 
feel good about you know what's going to happen the rest of the week and getting back on the plan that you originally had for yourself. All right, tip number five follows in the footsteps of tip number four, which is you have to approach it from the right mindset, all right? Now, if you're gonna do tip number five, like tip number four, you have to think of things positively. You can't be thinking of this as a way of punishing yourself. And tip number five is implement some intermittent fasting. There's nothing wrong with inter intermittent fasting, but if you approach it from the mindset of, I ate too many calories last, last night, I'm not gonna eat today, that's what I deserve, blah, 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 and you start kind of going down this guilt and this shame cycle, you're only gonna make things worse. So when you're approaching an intermittent fasting day, the, the day after a, a cheat day or a cheat meal, what you wanna think of is, you know what? I had a, you know some more calories than I usually have. I'm not really hungry. I'm kind of checking in with myself. I'm not really hungry for breakfast and you'll often find that you're not hungry because you either ate late or you had a lot of calories and if you're in tune with your body, you won't really feel that hungry. So you'll just go, you know what? I'm not gonna eat breakfast simply because it's breakfast. I'm gonna wait until I'm hungry. And a lot of times that'll carry you to about lunch. Once you start to get hungry, you're saying, okay, body, I understand, I'm listening to you. Thanks you know, for you know, keeping me in the loop, so to speak. And, and just be grateful for the fact that you're getting your hunger cues back and you're gonna have your lunch or whatever you're going to do, and, and that's fine. So again, we're approaching it from a positive mindset, from a positive approach, and not trying to punish ourselves from you know, because we had too much to eat the night before. All right, so then tip number six, and our last tip is going to be, make sure you get enough water. I'm not saying you have to chug a gallon of water or try to flush out your system like some people think you need to do, but just make sure you're staying on top of your water. A lot of times when we're not eating, the best thing to do instead is to have some water. You know, have some water around, take a couple sips here and there, stay hydrated. It's gonna, number one, help you with your fast if you choose to use that tip. And two, it's going to help get your system kind of flowing again. Hydration has a lot to do with digestion. So if we're dehydrated, our digestion is gonna be all messed up. It's gonna make us feel kind of bloated and, and, and foggy and lethargic and slow. So getting enough water and staying hydrated is really going to help our body recover from a day of you know, cheat eating, so to speak, or a cheat day, and get us reset and reorganized and focused for the following week and the following day. All right, guys, that's it for my video today. Thanks a ton for tuning in and watching all the way through. If you guys enjoyed today's video, a thumbs up would go a really long way. I would really appreciate it. And if you aren't a subscriber yet, make sure you subscribe before you leave this video so you can get more content just like this in the coming weeks. And as always, guys, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or you just wanna say hi, don't forget to leave a comment down in the section below, and I'll be sure to reply to you. If I could just say the word three, I would be stoked. I keep saying free. It's three, tip number three. That's all I wanna do. It's not that hard. Come on, Shane, get it together.